Hi guys. So today's name project is so neat. We are doing a reflection, um, a name reflection. And the way that works is we will be doing a rubbing um, to transfer the design so that we get a pure reflection. So today you're gonna need paper and you need a crayon, okay? A black crayon, a dark red crayon, a dark pink crayon, something like a, you don't want like yellow, yellow is too light. You want something that has like a nice dark rich color because we're gonna be writing your name with the crayon and we're gonna make it nice and dark and waxy and then we're gonna fold it in half and we are going to rub and it is going to transfer to the other side and then we'll go over that and trace it so that ends up dark and repeated but this is such a fun project you can do this with so many different things it's just really neat when you do it with your name um so you guys today are going to need a piece of paper and a crayon for sure um and then some other materials to color if you'd like um, I actually also had a pair of scissors handy because I used the handle. Now you don't have to have scissors, but something to help rub, like a spoon, a spoon would be a good idea. Not like a plastic one, but like a nice, um, like one from your, your, um, silverware drawer. Um, because you want something that's hard and smooth so that we can do the rubbing to apply pressure. Um, so something like that would work well. All right. So guys today for our project, we're going to be doing a name reflection, which sounds kind of basic. And here is one of my samples. I started with my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E. I wrote it in my black. I folded my paper. I did all my rubbing on it. And when I opened it up, it made this reflection down here really light. So then I took my black crayon and I traced it. And now I have a reflection and I can turn it different ways to see if it looks like something. This one I chose just to color it nice and soft. Now, when I did my son's name, John, I did J-O-H-N, and then I uh, folded it, and I rubbed it, and when I opened it up, I did the reflection, and I just happened to turn it sideways, and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like a face. Like his J's look like eyebrows, his O's look like um, eyes, his H's, I turned into a nose and then his N I turned into teeth. Um, so then I did one more sample with the word mom. So I had M O M fold it in half. I rubbed it, traced it, and it comes out looking like this. So I could turn this into a design. I could turn this into a, a design. Um, or you can just color it nice and simple. Like I did on this one here. So with this project, you guys are going to need, like I said, your um, paper and a crayon for sure, something to rub with, and then um, additional colors for coloring, okay? Um, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Um, I really hope that some of you guys can look at your names, kind of like how I did with the one that for John and I saw the face. I really hope you guys can come up with something and be like, oh my God, I totally see a nutcracker, or that looks like a um, Chiquita banana lady with the pineapple fruit on their head, or I don't know, just something like that. <laughs> okay, see you guys soon. Bye.